Hey yogis, welcome to Om Yoga. Today's class is going to be a mindful meditation class. We're going to be working with humility. So this pairs with a class that we did earlier this week, and we're just going to be mindful <laughs> of how we can invite this in in our life and how we can deal with it. If you want to get comfortable, you can place a pillow underneath you. You can also roll up your mat. And I also suggest for this class, diffusing or applying frankincense to the crown of your head. You can also diffuse it in your diffuser or use the humility oil that we also used earlier this week. If you like this class, subscribe to my channel, check out what's happening on the Ohm front on www.essentiallyohm.com and don't forget to comment. Give me your feedback, let me know what you think. Let's go ahead and begin. All right, to begin, we're going to find our easy pose. Again, easy pose can be on a pillow. If you have a meditation pillow, awesome. If not, you can roll up your mat. I'm sitting just flat on my mat. Find a comfortable position for your legs. No need to put yourself in lotus unless you've been practicing for a little while already and you're warmed up. Um, but meditation really is about just finding space that feels good. Don't worry about keeping yourself still the entire time. You're gonna naturally find some movement and a little bit of fidgeting and that's okay. But we will begin with our palms facing down, allowing us to ground down into our body with our breath. So we're gonna go ahead and close our eyes. And take your shoulders, roll them up towards your ears as you inhale. As you exhale, bring them down your spine. Draw your navel in. And think about keeping a nice, tall back. Maybe beginning to lean your shoulders a little bit more over your hips. Feeling ourselves supported by our mat. And feeling the weight of our body at the moment recognizing and honoring the physical body, the sensations that we feel, and preparing to disconnect with this, to connect with our spiritual and emotional body. Our breath will be very soft, but intentional. So begin to deepen your breath. Inhaling in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. Feeling our facial muscles begin to relax. And feeling our shoulders soften. Feeling our Spine begin to relax, even though it's holding us up. Feeling our hips, how they are grounded, our tailbone is rooted. Feeling our legs and feeling them very soft and supported as well. listening to the sound of our breath. And I want us to begin from our roots with this meditation. It takes being grounded to find humility whether we get knocked on our bottom from life or whether we end up on our knees searching for forgiveness, looking to be humbled. Our root is very important. So imagine this beautiful red glowing color, whether it be a light, whether it be a feeling, whether it be a vision and feeling our root and roots growing nice and firm and strong into the ground. And 
Listening to our breath. And then take this up into our sacral area, right in between our hips, focusing on this beautiful orange color. And allowing ourselves to flow with the creativity of life. Sometimes we need to use our creativity to see how situations can help to humble us. Maybe even use our creativity to see the humor in times that may not feel so funny. And then feel this light begin to grow up into our belly, two inches up above our navel now in our Manipura chakra. And feeling this light or envisioning this yellow or feeling yellow as this is the seat of our soul, which also can be the seat of our ego. And oftentimes they both need to be humbled at different times. And I want us to check in with a feeling on this one. Because right? humility can come with embarrassment, can come with feeling crappy at times. Right? Things can be pulling on our gut, can be causing us to feel uncomfortable. So as we check in with humility today, do we feel heavy? in this chakra at all? Do we notice that our stomach may be a little uncomfortable from time to time? Or maybe it feels really good. And allowing the sensations to be as they are, not trying to change anything. And now allowing the light to come up to our heart chakra as it is in the center of our chest. And it takes an open heart to accept humility. Sometimes our heart must be broken in order for it to shine. Feeling the sensations here as well. How does our heart feel today? Lifting through the crown of our head, staying nice and tall, and letting the light now flow up into our throat chakra, Vishuddha. Feeling, sensing, or seeing blue, light blue, dark blue. And our throat chakra has to do with how we communicate, but not necessarily always how we speak or how we are heard, more so how we hear. And do we pause when we have discussions slash arguments with others and actually listen and be humble and allow ourselves to be humbled by what they have to say. That's not to say that if someone is being mean, that this is okay. But when we are having a conversation with a loved one, whether it be friend, family, are we allowing ourselves to hear them? They too can carry pain. And if we put our ego first, we can help to drive that pain with our words. So can we find this balance between listening, really listening, without trying to speak or formulate an answer? That can be humbling in and of itself. And now allow the light to flow in between our eyebrows into the center of our intuition. And imagine this beautiful, purple ray 
Maybe you can even see it as your eyes are closed. Maybe you take your gaze to this spot right in between your eyebrows. And this is our intuition, our connection of listening. Right? So not only listening with our throat, our ears, and speaking, but really tuning into our intuition. And when we come from a place of ego and not being humble, our intuition can get shut down. And now allow this light to travel up to the crown of our head and out. And this is coming into our crown chakra coming into Sahasara, and this is our connection to our higher self, to the divine, to God, whatever it is that we view as a higher power. This is where humility truly comes in. Acknowledging the presence of something greater than ourselves and knowing that we don't always have the answers. And if we struggle with this, this meditation can help to guide us. So this is something that we can also work on with the humility oil. And so with humility, can we recognize that we are part of something greater so whether it be in conversations with others or whether it be in prayer or in meditation, can we feel the connection to something higher than ourselves? And that's not to say that we should feel small or insignificant. That is actually quite the opposite of what I am saying. But can we find and feel that we are a part of something so much bigger than we can realize? And that everyday struggles and stresses and anxieties and worries and cares and feelings of lack or insignificance. When we recognize that we are a part of something larger than we, than us, than I, those anxieties and worries and things that can cause us to feel sad or small. When we realize we are connected to something far larger than we can even imagine, how big do we feel? How weightless do we feel? And on the days that we feel as though we may be broken and we find ourselves on our knees, can we feel that we are perfect in the eyes of the universe or God, or whatever our higher, our higher power or source is. May we be allowed to be humbled by what we thought were mistakes. Can we see that they were just lessons? And I want us to think right now about something in our life that has caused us to feel small. Can we look at the lesson that it was created for to actually make us feel and be large? Can we let go of anger, ego, comparing? Can we feel the stress, the guilt, and the sadness begin to slowly melt away? Feeling the connection to all of the things around us. Acknowledging and just being with these feelings. Not trying to push them away, but just feel. And to close out this meditation, I'm going to bring in 
a very healing light. And with this light, it's going to transmute all of these worries, the stress, the sadness, the anger, the ego, and allow us to feel whole and clean. So now, wherever you are, we're going to take an audible exhale. As you inhale, I want you to breathe in from the crown of your head this beautiful violet ray. And as you inhale, bringing it all the way down to the very tip of your spine. And as you exhale, sending it around your entire body and entire being. And as we surround ourselves with this beautiful violet flame, We feel our body, our soul, our mind, our spirit begin to lighten as we allow all of the darkness or sadness or anger to be completely transmuted. Recognizing that we are a part of something greater than ourselves. I invite you to return to this meditation anytime that you need to feel connected, supported, cared for, and loved. Anytime that you struggle with a lesson of humility or wanting to be humbled. And keeping this violet flame around us for the rest of our day or evening or whatever we face. Connecting back in with our breath. Connecting back into the sensations in our physical body. Maybe beginning to wiggle fingers and toes. With your eyes closed, bring your hands to your heart center, dropping your chin down towards your chest. From the bottom of my heart to yours, I thank you for allowing me to guide you through this meditation. Hands to our lips. May our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, the center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you. And together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. Namaste.